travels together. I think um, the story of Melinda and I is more about travel adventures. Uh, so she is uh, a physio in London and every year she maybe takes one month, six weeks, two months off and she'll go to places like Sri Lanka, um, but also to other places to do voluntary work. Ah, like Indians stay, don't you? Yeah. Don't show, don't show. <laughs> <laughs> Faisal, I think we go, and you and you you wait for flowers. Okay. Um, and then because we can set up for the photographs, huh? And uh, he was sort of searching around the last two or three days. Um, and then he spoke to him, I think it's last, this is like last night. Okay. So like, now we get on. Saying, just a simple ceremony, this is for the baby. Um, just the two of us, so the families weren't coming. Um, natural. Uh, somewhere wild and sort of basic. It was actually Melinda that found the location. I hadn't seen it at all before, but we went up to visit, so we had seen it briefly before the wedding, and it was better than we expected in terms of the, uh, the natural look and the natural feel. So the birds, the flowers, the vegetation, the colors, the light, um, the simplicity, all of that was more than we expected. One of the best things about the whole wedding day was the fact that a lot of it was very impromptu. A lot of it was last minute. The priest was the last 24 hours. Um, and, uh, you know, having to pick up various things for the ceremony because it was a Buddhist priest, it was meant to be a Catholic priest to begin with. Um, we were just saying it's like an international religious convention because you were Hindu and the priest was Buddhist and the witness was Muslim and I'm Christian. So we love all of that. So it's quite cosmopolitan. We get there and everything was still perfect in terms of being simple. The location, the feelings from the location, the people that were there. Um, and. Uh, we both were very happy. And even during the ceremony, we were saying things to each other um, and smiling a lot. And I think a massive reason why I love him is that he's not materialistic. He just uh, he values experiences and such. Um, 
We have both come a long way in life before we met, whilst we've met with our adventures and what we've got up to, maybe traveling. And we both have learned a lot from our experiences of life because of that. And we now both look forward to doing a lot more of that in the future, in terms of more travel adventures especially, uh, and the type of travel adventures and the sort of people that we revolve around and the sort of things that we can get involved in with different communities around the world. Because I'm, and Melinda isn't either, um, I'm not a person to stay still. I have to move, I'm like a nomad, and she's a little bit like a nomad, and we like being involved with different communities. We have got to a point, we have learned a lot from life, we now want to use what we've learned to go out there, have other adventures and help other people and pass on other similar messages.